Hey, what's up everyone? We are back here doing another home tour. We are in the subdivision of Bixby Creek, which is located in the Stonebridge Village in Summerlin. Um, right behind me, as you can see, we have the gate to get into this community. And we are very far west in Las Vegas. Uh, perhaps as we go around the corner, we're gonna be able to get that nice view of the strip, but just that way is the strip. And then as you can see, uh, the way I was facing prior, is due west where the sun is going to set here in about an hour. Um, this is the community park that is immediately in front of the gated entrance to this subdivision and then the home we're going to be touring is actually you can slightly see it right there two-story four bedroom three bath with a pool beautiful property so let's just cruise through the uh, neighborhood so you can get an idea of what it looks like Beautiful community, has single and two-story homes. Constructed at roughly 2019, so they're not too old. A very nice curb appeal. Got that desert modern look, if you will. Beautiful day here in Las Vegas. The sun is shining. The sky is clear as can be since we had a ton of rain yesterday. And as we turn down this street, I'm not sure if you can make it out, but way down there, you can see the Las Vegas Strip. I can see the wind, the Venetian, the link. Very, very nice view. I could imagine if you just hang out here on the street on the 4th of July, you would have a wonderful, wonderful view of all the fireworks going off on the Strip. But take a look at these houses. Doesn't it look gorgeous with that beautiful blue sky and those clouds in the background. Right over here to our left is the house we're going to be touring. Very nice landscape here in the front yard. A lot of evergreen, evergreen bushes, some rosemary, a lot of color popping as spring rolls into this season, as we roll into the season of spring. We've got a nice uh, paper stone patio right up here underneath the stucco cover of the house. And then you've got your two car garage with the paper stone driveway. Beautiful curb appeal here on this property. Let's, um, let's take a look inside. So as we head up here to the main entrance of the property, you get a better look at that covered patio area I was talking about. You can put some nice furniture out here, outdoor furniture, hang out here in the evening as the sun's setting, watch the kids or the neighbors hang out in the front yard. They do have a ring doorbell. It's whistled at me a few times as I've come into the property. So a very unique entrance in this property. Immediately as we walk in here to the right, we have the staircase, which takes us up to the second floor. Nice wood, painted white wood staircase with these stainless steel uh, rails going all the way up to the second floor where there's a loft area. And then down below that loft area, straight towards the back of the home, is where we would enter into the kitchen, living area, and the primary suite. Let me uh, put on some booties real quick, and then we'll continue this tour. All right, so I've got my shoe covers on, or booties, as I just called them. Do people call them that? That's what I call them. So right here is the powder bath, located directly under the loft, and uh, that staircase, as you can see right around here, the staircase is going up. You could, you know, do some built-in cabinetry there for some additional storage to the house. Uh, you have a stone countertop with an undermount rectangular sink, white shaker style cabinets with the black poles. However, as we noticed, uh, the handles on the door are chrome, same as the fixture on the sink. So it doesn't really match the poles on the countertop there. But as we come across here into the main living area and kitchen, it's pretty cool. You got that big, beautiful slider that looks directly out into the backyard. Uh, you know, you could definitely, just by looking, uh, put some shrubbery or some sort of vine up on that block wall uh, because it is a really nice backyard with the pool and it's all pool and we'll go check it out. I imagine right here in this space is where you would put a dining room table of some sort. And this is their living seating area. We'll pan right back across here so you can take a look at this Gorgeous kitchen. The kitchen is mainly the focal point of this whole downstairs. 
but it is very nice. You've got that giant kitchen island with the waterfall edge. I believe that is quartz stone countertop. Undermount single basin stainless steel sink with a giant gooseneck faucet. Got the white shaker style cabinets with the black poles again. Um, so this is, you know, like a nice stainless steel. It's a little bit darker. I don't know the, the name of that. It does, it does match the appliances here, which are very pretty. Look at the backsplash. Nice tile work on the backsplash. And then all the appliances match. That's always nice. You got this really cool, super smart TV. Or this TV, not a TV. That's a refrigerator with a TV. <laughs> Giant iPad. Ooh, that drives me nuts. Got a ding in their fridge, beautiful fridge. I've got one of those too. Had it too close to the counter and my son threw the door open. Not his fault. Right here, we got our little pantry area for all your non-perishables or your patio furniture cushions as they have it currently. And then over here, this is the access to the two car garage. You got the epoxy, epoxy floors, finished garage with a five inch baseboard. And then this giant water softener. This water so softener is uh, definitely adequate for this property. Um, you know, the property is coming in over 2,000 square feet. I wasn't able to open up my uh, MLS up here. The cell reception is pretty poor up in this area, unfortunately. Got the tankless water heater. That's always a plus. This is cool too. These hanging storage racks. I love the advertisements I see that get sent in the mail where there's someone hanging from them. I'm, I wouldn't try that though, especially not in my house. You got your whole house shut off valves uh, with your pressure regulating valve, uh, inch and a quarter. And then you've got your three quarter inch irrigation feed. So ideally, you know, if you were going out of town, uh, you could turn this valve off here as we can see the flow of the water. So from the street to the pressure regulating valve, then it goes to the house and to the irrigation. So if you're going out of town, you would turn this one off. So uh, if, you know, a pipe were to burst or something, it wouldn't flood your home, but you would still have water on to your irrigation system so you wouldn't lose your plants, which could happen very quickly here in Las Vegas in the summer months. Well, you know, on my introduction, I don't think uh, I said, my name's Chance Vanek. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Las, oh, I'm sorry, the state of Nevada, serving Las Vegas, Henderson and its surrounding areas. This is the primary bedroom, nice and spacious. Big, big bed here, giant TV, wall mounted. As you can see, I love when they, you know, have the channeling for the cords to run up to the TV so you don't see any dangling cords. We'll come over here to the primary bathroom. Beautiful faux marble. That's a, I believe this is a porcelain tile, but it looks like a marble on the floor. Then you have the matching cabinets from out in the kitchen. Huge countertop space with the dual vanities. Hey, what's up everyone? Big, uh, big mirror. And then over here, look at this shower. Very nice walk-in shower. Very spacious, huge actually. Got this uh, Moen shower valve with the diverter built in so you can either have the water coming from the shower head or the rain shower. Probably a three function where you can get it from both. Very nice tile work in here. As we head to the back of the restroom, you have your private water closet. And then back there you have a walk-in closet, but this house is vacant. However, there is some clothes still hanging in that uh, closet. So I don't really like to take a look at that when there's personal objects in there. But you have this huge slider, you know, really gives you an awesome view into the backyard. They have that beautiful patio furniture, outdoor furniture. You got the cool decking all the way up to the door and surrounding the pool. Another giant TV. There's another giant TV upstairs in the loft area. 
And then another one, I believe, in the upstairs bedroom that's converted into an office. They must have really liked to watch TV. Let's remove these shoe covers, and then we'll come back here and take a look at this, this pool. Nice, calm, calm colors on the tile they used around the pool. Very nice. As you can see, your backyard is almost all pool. But look at that view out there. You've got uh, the mountains heading towards the red rocks. And then over to the side of your covered patio, you've got this little grass area where they've got a natural gas barbecue setting there, hiding the pool equipment. And as you can see, it's plugged into the natural gas stub out that was pre-plumbed during the construction of the home. Big, beautiful, uh, what is that, uh, Japanese blueberry tree over there? I love those. I had a few at my house. Uh, for some reason, they just, they didn't take because it gets so hot here. Let's see what's on the other side of this house. Oh, you've got the paver stone walkway going all the way from the front of the house to the cool decking. And then that, that's so nice because it makes it so easy to bring your trash cans in and out of the gate where you're supposed to have your trash cans behind the gate in the uh, HOA here. You can see the vent pipe for the tankless water heater. And then this little pipe right there, that's the uh, overflow for the upstairs laundry room. So the washing machine pan, if the washing machine ever leaks, it would uh, catch that water and divert it to the exterior. Let's head back inside and continue the tour. So we come back inside to the living area, lock this door, and then we'll pan across the kitchen one more time as we make our way upstairs to check out the bedrooms and the loft. Very nice carpet. Feels like I'm walking on a cushion as I go up these stairs. You can see these stainless steel rails on the on the uh, loft surround. Very nice. Nice upgrade. Money well spent. I'm sure some people opted for just, you know, a drywall pony wall. Uh, and this is really a nice touch. Pretty large space up here in the loft. Like I was saying, another large TV. You've got the um, wooden shutters here. Very nice. We'll take a peek out this back door. Second floor patio. Not covered. Very nice uh, outdoor sectional. You can sit up here, take a look out to the northwest. Over there is the Red Point Village where we've done quite a few home tours. Looking down at the pool and jacuzzi. And just over here to the left, right there is where we started this tour at the park directly across the entrance to the home. Come back inside. Take a look at these bedrooms. So they've got the nice baseboard. You know, they did, uh, they went with what I would call older fashion, you know, it's got the uh, detailed molding on there. Whereas everything these days that we usually see is the strat, uh, straight flat edge, which to each is known. I like them both. Pretty spacious guest bedroom here. Very spacious, if you ask me. Come across here, it's got a walk-in closet. It even has its own little window to allow some natural light into the walk-in closet, that's nice. Another random little window. Across the hall from this bedroom, have our linen closet. We can store some towels and things like that. Come down the hall, guest bedroom number two. Again, very nice size. I like the color on the walls. Very, very light, light gray. Very subtle gray. Another walk-in closet. Spacious rooms with spacious closets in this house. Come down here. Guest bathroom. Got the dual vanity, dual undermount sinks. Tub shower surround. Acrylic with the chrome fixtures. You know, uh, it is seeing this, having the black handles and then the chrome fixtures, it is really nice when the handles uh, and the fixtures mix, match the handles on, uh, you know, 
when it goes together. I apologize for stumbling over my words here. We got the upstairs laundry room, which is always very convenient and one of my favorites. Uh, with the laundry sink, again, convenience is so good, especially if you get dirty or have kids and you gotta scrub things, it's wonderful. Um, when you do have the upstairs laundry, you know, you do definitely want to make sure you have a good pan underneath the washing machine that it's intact. You know, a lot of them are these really thin plastic. And a lot of times what happens is when they set the washing machine in place, because it's such an awkward position, uh, you know, they drop it and it breaks the pan. I would highly recommend getting a custom like aluminum pan made for this and make sure the drain is connected uh, extremely watertight because I've seen many a times these leak and the pan had a crack in it or the drain wasn't connected perfectly well and it caused damage to the ceiling down below. And you never want to deal with water damage because when you do go to sell, you do need to disclose that. And it does worry some folks, some buyers. Uh, but where that pan sits, if you remember when we were outside in the backyard, we saw that overflow drain, that's where it's directed to. Uh, the last guest bedroom, they have it modeled here as an office. Again, space, spacious bedroom. Plenty of windows in here with another TV, lots of TVs. As you can see, they did not set this one up with the channeling for the wires. So this is what you get when you don't do that. Isn't it so nice to have it done? Because it's really an eyesore when you have those wi uh, wires hanging out there like that. And then the last closet. So that's gonna conclude our tour on this property. If you have any questions in regards to this property or any other property in Las Vegas, Henderson, or the surrounding areas, please feel free to reach out at any time. My name's Chance Vanek, licensed real estate agent serving Las Vegas, Henderson, and the surrounding areas. My contact information is down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.